Alrighty, so I put a pump stuffer inside of a 650 SX uh, 94 that jet ski down there, and uh, it gave me cool results, but um, not not huge difference. But I'm gonna include a video of uh, firstly uh, what not to do, basically as far as pump stuffer goes. There's an instruction in the directions. So All the text directions and got confused because I took stuff literally and anyway so if you're looking at a pump stuff or if you've never put one in um, what's following is going to be a pretty uh, uh, detailed uh, what to do maybe or what not to do maybe I don't know either way I'm happy with the ski it seems more crisp I would use the term it's not more powerful, but definitely it does seem a little bit faster, maybe a couple miles an hour. And, and when it does grab, I mean, the, the pump stuffer is not going to stop you from corpus cavitation at all. But um, it, uh, it, it's, it changed for the better. Uh, definitely not uh, 75 bucks wasted. So uh, some of y'all might call me foolish for the way I interpreted the instructions. And uh, I guess it's okay if this helps uh, someone else not make the mistakes I did uh, in installing said product. Uh, well, good for you. For those of you who know better, who are gonna troll on me, well, I'm, it's expected, but uh, still gonna post it because it'll probably help somebody. All right, I am excited because today I got this pump stuffer. Uh, it says it's for a 650SX jet ski, so I'm going to put it in and uh, I'll let you know whether the jet ski... Uh, they say it goes a little faster if you use one of these. I guess it goes in the pump housing like that. The drive shaft is there for... goes through there. But kind of disappointing. Um, <laughs> In a lot of the videos, it looks like this. Yeah, no, they don't come like that. So that is false. As far as new getting, you have to, it says, remove intake grate, clean your intake, silicone edges. If you do not have your pump assembly removed, pull apart the stuffer along the cut line. I, do they mean cut? apart the stuffer along the cut line because that thing ain't pulling apart it's kind of weird I guess it, it doesn't really look like you can pull it apart so there's kind of some instructional disappointment there I guess but I mean whatever I guess we'll get the saw going across the way and make a nice cut there um, your pump assembly is removed, slide the stuffer down the drive shaft, silicone side facing towards the hull, the stuffer, seat stuffer to the hull, and the drive shaft not rubbing. Wipe around the edges, smooth out, and 24 hours. So I'm gonna do it. So made the cut, and again, there's no, there's no pole anywhere, it has to be cut. So. Be prepared to get your saw out if you get one of these, if this thing does actually work. So, installed the pump stuffer or pump wedge. I also sharpened my impeller, I filed the backs of my impeller so they're more sharp anyways so um the instructions say to cut on a cut line okay the only line on the back side of the pump wedge the only single line is the line for the back of that drip thing there there's no instruction that that's what that is in those so i being hasty for the guy to come help me move the jet ski pick it up i made a cut right there which is the wrong way to do it when you're not gonna Pull the pump, you're supposed to cut the front. So heads up, the cut line is not the drip 
line. There are no lines whatsoever on this product. Okay, so although I know that looks close, the, the shaft, it's actually, the drive shaft is missing that by a little bit. So what I ended up doing is I cut the pump wedge in half, the pump stuffer in half, and then I drilled tiny, tiny, tiny little holes actually up into the jet ski, there, there, and there, and used uh, aluminum uh, screws, real short things that we had in the uh, garage, in our little screw bay over there. We're over there, I forget which one. So, uh, and then I countersunk the surface of the pump wedge. So, and then also use the, uh, the silicone caulking as recommended or as kind of recommended. It was weird. The eBay site recommends a specific silicone, but I asked the actual person who sold me this, the, the, the eBay seller, to sell me the silicone with it, and they, they sent me a message back saying any silicone will do. So long story short, we'll see if it actually works. It's in there, and you know, y'all can call me an idiot if these screws give way and this thing shatters into the damn impeller, I don't know. Hope not, but it's glued in there pretty good and it's fastened as well. Um, I feel more comfortable with a fastener in it, I think, than I did with it just being stuck in there anyways. But, uh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so put the pump stuffer in. You saw already the kind of weird way I mounted it and used fasteners instead of just silicone. So it was out for about an hour and a half. Lots of full speed. And Lots of low speed and all sorts and all the regular old silicon is holding fine. Now of course I got those tiny little screws in there. But uh, again, the drive shaft's really close, but there is a gap there. It's not actually touching. And that's just when I fastened down the screws, it kind of pulled it and I was really pleasantly Not surprised but happy that it didn't touch it and uh yeah i would say it goes a little faster i don't have a gps but it's really kind of choppy like that's not right there but when you get out of the past that little channel over there it gets pretty choppy and uh it doesn't make it feel more powerful but when it does actually grab a hold it it, it does um i'd say like five percent more you know you can just feel that it seems to the snag on a touch more so that's pretty cool all in all happy i did it uh there's no leaks and uh so uh yeah i'd do it again only i'd i don't know i don't know if i'd follow the instructions by slamming it in there i kind of like the little holes because i know if i ever do want to take it out i could unfasten these and this thing come out in two parts it wouldn't be a big bear to try to get something up in there to try to pry this thing. So food for thought, if you're willing to put a little BB size hole in your hull, which obviously, I mean, there's BB size holes all over the place, you know, whatever. So as far as an old tire jet ski goes, it's still an old tire jet ski, but uh, I'm happy. It's, uh, I don't regret spending the 70 bones for the little pump stuffer.